What's up and good afternoon guys. Welcome back to another video. Today I've got something special for you. We got two unboxings that we're going to do. Um, one is a knife that I purchased and another one which is a knife that a subscriber sent to us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get started with that. So until then we'll be right back guys. Okay, so we're back. Okay, so the first knife that we have is made by uh, Olatans LT. I don't know what to call it. I guess LT Olatans. I don't know. Anyway, it is a titanium scale knife. Uh, it says titanium alloy knife ALT017. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and put some links down in the description to these. And uh, I'll uh, put that down there for you guys. Alright, so here is the Olatans Titanium Scale Knife. It is the Olatans ALT017 Made in China. Olatans Designs. All right, let me get my knife here. Cut the tape on that there. Okay. Alright. So there's the case. Here's the case it came in. There. Okay, so first things first, let's see. This is okay, so this looks like a little okay, so it's a little keychain light. Okay, so that's kind of neat. Uh, set that over here to the side. Take the knife out. Okay, so looks like that's just it. There's no instructions in the box, no warranty, no, no nothing. So just a, a knife and the light. Uh, I hate these little Ziploc bags, they're so hard to open. Set the bag over here to the side, take the box set up over there. Okay, so this is the Olatans T017. No, sorry, AL T017 Olatans Titanium Knife. And this thing is super light, guys. Like, super, super lightweight. Alright, this thing says it comes with four little glow tubes. Um, so, yeah, okay. So, we got a little glow tube here, a little glow tube here. If you spin it around, there's a little glow tube down here at the bottom, and then one up here at the top. And this is a frame lock knife, it's built into the frame. It's got some decent action on it. So this looks like it would be for right hand carry. It's a liner, uh, sorry not liner, but it's a frame lock. Looks like it's got a hollow grind on it. It's got a little bevel up here at the top. Got a flat place on the top there. A little small thumb stud and it says Olatans engraved into the uh, knife blade and it is M390 steel so it's a decent steel knife probably going to end up having to sharpen it a lot because it's an M390 not real sure on that. Beautiful knife though. Super, super lightweight. Show it to Stumpy over here. Very nice knife. 
There's no blade wiggle at all, no blade play. It's a little off center. It's not quite centered. It's a little off center, which ain't bad. I can live with that. It's fine. This thing is absolutely tiny. Like, this thing is so small. Maybe an inch and a half two inches of a uh, cutting blade well I mean this thing is absolutely tiny like I mean it feels okay in the hand it's just super tiny I mean if you're a maybe a blade pincher maybe and you used it as a blade pincher that might would work let me see if I can find let's use this right here. Let's see. Oh yeah, she's sharp guys. <laughs> I don't know if you're seeing that, but yeah, she's sharp. Super sharp knife. There you go, the Titanium Olatan's Knife Liner Lock. Um, I have to go back, look at the pricing on it. If you give me just a second here, let me look it up real quick. I'll put a link down in the description for it. Okay, so it's a mini pocket titanium alloy uh, M390 steel blade folding knife five and a uh, five point oh four inches totally open one point zero two ounces with uh, four luminous tubes it is forty two ninety nine guys forty two ninety nine so there you go Olatan's titanium alloy knife with M three ninety steel blade frame lock with four glow tubes now, I'm not sure what that's gonna look like uh, as far as like the glow tubes what they're gonna look like at night I'm assuming you have to charge this thing up using a light of some sort so yeah it's a nice knife alright so let me set this over here um, up out of the way put it back over here Put it back in its bag, right there, light back in here, and let's put it back in its case. Alright, I'm going to take that set that over here up out of the way. Now for another knife that a subscriber sent to me. There is no label on it. Doesn't tell me what kind of knife it is. Uh, caution, hazard, sharp blades, improper use, chiseling, etc., etc. This product. Uh, exposure, you can... This product was exposed... Uh, I can't read it. I don't know. I, I cannot read it. Anyway, all it says is item number KS3305 made in China. There's no labels on it as to what this knife is. Show that to Stumpy over here. Okay. Wow, guys, this is cool. Okay, so I was told that this knife had walnut scales on it. So they are complete, full walnut scales. 
Wow, this is amazing. This is cool, guys. You're going to love this. So, this knife, they had my name engraved in it. Red Fox, right there. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's get this thing out of the package. I got to see this. Wow, okay. This thing is heavy, 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 heavy. Man, this probably weighs 10 or 12 ounces at least. At least 12 ounces, maybe more. So this is an assisted knife. Man, those walnut handles, they're definitely wood. This ain't no fake wood. This is real walnut. That is absolutely amazing. Wow. Look at this, guys. Got a little pocket clip here. It's not deep carry, so it's going to stick up out of your pocket a good maybe inch or so. Because the uh, clip stops right there. So from there up, it's going to stick up out of your pocket. Wow, this is amazing. Look at the detail on that, guys. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But, dude, that's amazing. That walnut is beautiful. Right, I want to show you something. So, this is cool. Alright. Okay. So, um, I got a wallet for Christmas. And it's from a company called Twisted Grain. And it is also walnut. So, look at this, guys. This is cool. I want to show you this. Look how good that matches. They're both walnut. The wallet's a little bit darker only because my hands have been using it and my oils have gotten all into the wood, so it's darkened it up a little bit. So I'm wondering if this knife will do the same thing. But anyway, this is made by Twisted Grain. It's a little card wallet. holds probably, I don't know, 15, 10, 15 cards maybe. So, I mean, it's got some good thickness to it. But, yeah. So, it's a, you can put your money here on the back. And you can see Twisted Grain has his logo uh, etched into the bottom of it here. So if y'all want to link to this, I'll see if I can get a hold of Twisted Grain and get his website. Uh, I know he is on Facebook, so Twisted Grain is on Facebook if you want to find him there. Uh, you can find him under Twisted Grain. But, wow, this is amazing. I don't know who sent this. I was just told it was sent by a subscriber. They etch my name into it, and it has walnut scales on it. So, wow, this is beautiful. And the blade is totally centered into the center of the, the pocket there. No blade play. This thing is stiff, stiff. Super heavy, though. So you got half serrated, half straight blade. It is a liner lock. So you can see the liner there. It's got a little bit of jimping on it for your finger. It's an assisted knife. So it's not going to just drop back when you close it. So you have to put some pressure on it to close it. It's an assisted knife. Whoever sent this, thank you. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Thank you, thank you so much. Whoever you are, thank you. This will probably end up being a showpiece. I don't think I'm going to end up carrying this. It'll probably sit in here. Man, dude, this thing is heavy. Like, heavy, heavy. Let's see what it looks like in my pocket real quick. doesn't go all the way into my pocket so I've got about a good inch of it sticking up out of the pocket right there it's even heavy in the pocket too so wow 
I might carry this for a little while just to see how much use I get out of it. I'm not used to the half serrated, half straight blades, but maybe something I'll end up liking in the end. I don't know. Anyway, there you go. Knife with walnut handles with my name engraved in it. Absolutely beautiful. Thank you whoever sent that. If you guys end up wanting to send me anything, I'm going to be setting up a P.O. box here soon, so be looking for it. Um, anyway, that's it. That's all I've got for you today, guys. I appreciate y'all sticking around for the, the knife reviews. Um, I plan on using both of these knives, and we'll see you know, what they do as far as how they are. Let me grab this. Let's do a little... Oh, it's, it's pretty sharp. And it could use some work. It's not like real sharp, but it's sharp enough. Like the tip of it's sharp, but the rest of it, not so much. Yeah, see, it's just ripping it there. So this one here is going to have to use some work on the blade. Okay, well, that's it, guys. That's all I've got for you. Those two knives. Appreciate y'all joining me today. Till next time, I've been Red Fox with Red Fox Outdoors. Get out and enjoy nature. Bye, guys.